Whoa, I'm shiny. Today's day 43. It's a dosing day, so of course I feel the best I feel all week. I just, I took my five decks, my steroids, so those will kick in soon. I'm laying on the tramp because there's going to be an air show to um, acknowledge. Oh, oh, hi. You want to be on the tramp with me? Hi, Elsa. To show support and recognition for healthcare workers. So I am hoping that our backyard is in the path of these. I don't know. They're probably like massive jets or military planes. I have no idea. So we're going to lay on the tramp and hope they fly over our house. So hopefully Maggie will come. Elsa's going to watch. She's going to participate with me. And um, sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, I showered, put on earrings, a new shirt that's going to shrink. So I get one day to wear it. And then headed off to Huntsman. And I'm really excited because I, uh, I've been working today and um, something really needed to be posted on a web page and um, I figured out how to do it, asked for support, went to an expert, learned how to do it, and posted much needed information on a web page. I'm pretty proud of myself, just saying. Okay, this is me feeling good before dosing. It, I will try to get a video of the airplane, the air show, but uh, it's, uh, we'll see. Well, I'm here at Huntsman, solo, um, to do my treatment. And uh, I'm gonna get my mask on and head upstairs. And uh, it's hot today. I don't know if it's chemo or menopause or the dex the steroids, but I feel like I'm sweating already. It's fantastic. Anyway, see you inside. Okay, I forgot to show you something. Super cute new toms with a stretchy skirt. Yeah. Summer. Excited for skirts, dresses, flip flops, toms tank tops and being able to breathe. All right, well, I'm up at Huntsman and I have a front seat show to the uh, construction. I don't know if you can see it with the glare on the window, but construction is right here. Oh, and it stopped moving right when I started videoing. Um, there was a little, well, a big rock that uh, hit the window and scared us all. It sounded like it was gonna crash through the window. But, um, it's kind of fun watching this giant machinery as I get infused. Actually, right now I'm just getting, um, fluids. I just got my labs back. I'm gonna try to take So, we're back to regular surgical grade masks. I just got labs back and my calcium's up. Because I doubled it and chewed Tums. So, it's helping. And, um making my lips feel less. So I think we'll just keep with the calcium. And I told the nurses I'm gonna protest Zometa um, and uh, see how that goes. Um, so yeah, I got my IV, my fluids, and feeling like right now, you know, everyone is talking about healthcare workers are heroes, which they absolutely are. And so sometimes it's weird being a nurse that is not at the bedside because I don't feel like a hero because I'm not bedside. Um, along with all the behind the scenes, healthcare workers, pharmacists, and um, lab technicians, and the environmental cleaning services, and the cafeteria, or the people who make the food for all the patients. Like there's so many people, managers, directors, that are all nurses. Um, that do behind the scene things. Um, and we're all healthcare workers. And the bedside nurses right now are the true heroes. Um, and it's nice to see the recognition. And I saw the uh, jets going overhead. That was a nice call out and appreciation to healthcare workers. So props to all my nurses here 
and a primary and all over. Okay, I might do one more update when I get the chemo. Oh. All right, well, done with dosing. Um, I don't have to dose for two weeks. So I take Revlimid for another week and then I'm off from May 8th until I think May 14th. Yay! Ooh, thunder. And it's cooler. Yay. Hi. So, the Dex just makes you feel real like, like it's a superpower. Like, I have energy. I feel happy. I feel chatty. I uh, love everybody. I have empathy for everyone. Even when people are mean or angry, I'm like, then they're just sad or in pain. Yeah, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna get in the car and drive home. So, no judging. Tonight, you know, I can go from halibut one night and really good food to, um, you know, a hot dog, baked beans, and homemade potato salad and chips. And that's what I feel like tonight. And we are joined by Sybil tonight. Yeah. So, you know, we've all been quarantining and we think it's fine that Sybil and Maggie chill. Fine. So, yeah. Dex has made mommy hungry for summer food. Okay. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're we're having tramp time tonight with yeah. Maggie and Sybil. Maggie and Sybil have known each other since they were babies. <clears throat> Maggie or Sybil moved in across the street from us when Sybil was like four months old. Four months, three months. Three months. Yeah. So these girls go way back. So tonight <laughs> our question is, what is your either your the current song? you're listening to and why mm. okay we're gonna start with Seb oh mm. okay I'm the grand so family. it's a song called Lil Sebastian <laughs> by <laughs> Parks and Rec um <laughs> it's really good Lil um I like it because it's just talking about this little horse yeah <laughs> right, Meg. And and where yeah. where can you find this song? Um, on YouTube. On YouTube? <laughs> you say like Lil Sebastian <laughs> by like Parks Are and Rec. And also, um, just if you didn't know, um, Sybil and Maggie like to speak with a southern accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned. Okay, so my dad sometimes Okay, so wait, what's the name of the song? Little Sebastian. Yeah, Little Sebastian. On YouTube. Little Sebastian. Little Sebastian. Okay, I think maybe Maggie should go next. <laughs> well, this one, this one, it's the worst song ever, but it's real funny. It makes me and Sybil die Wait, every time. It? It's Skechers by by. You know what it is. Everyone should know. What Wait, it what is. is it? Skechers by Skechers? Skechers. I don't know. You just. I can't remember the guy. It's just the first one that it's comes. Nobody, yeah. I, nobody I recognize. But there's an explicit. My ketchup Skechers. And then, <laughs> my Gucci shoes. There, there's an explicit and a non-explicit. So they're talking about non-explicit. Go to Sketchers non-explicit. And, and it's a it's a funny song. And clearly that's what Maggie's addicted to right now. Because it makes us laugh. Me my Gucci shoes. Okay. Okay, so oh, my wow. turn. As I was driving to the Huntsman today for dosing. Oh, you found this one, Huntsman? Yeah, no, I was uh, listening to the radio, and usually the radio stations are always on Maggie stations, which are 91 point... 97.9, Yeah, yeah, so it was on one of those stations, and all of a sudden the song comes Look on. Look at that hair. Oh, Ooh. it looks so just like mine. And it was called I Love Me by um, Demi Lovato. <laughs> Every, That's Demi Lotto? Yeah. Every, yeah. Every, I resonate with every word. Oh my gosh. I, I'm sure a lot of people do. But that will be, once I love a song, I listen to it to death. So For it, a long time. Yeah. It will just be on yeah. repeat. Everyone in the house will know it. And everyone, and then all of a sudden it will kind of pass and it will just go in my favorite. And then it'll be annoying. No, yeah. And then they'll tell me to stop playing it. But that, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. That is a great song. It has fantastic words. Like, way to go, Demi Lovato. Love it. So, what are you guys doing tonight? You guys, what are you guys oh, doing tonight? Oh, we're sleeping on uh, trampoli uh, no! a treehouse. No! A treehouse. Treehouse. They're going to have an outside sleepover. And then we have a tarp over it with a little broomsticky thing. Yeah. And it's it might rain. 
So, right. and yeah. there's a fire under making s'mores. This is friends yeah. missing friends bad. Yep. And so you know we're just we're now we just live together. We're still <laughs> we're still we're still in the bubble. Sybil has joined our bubble. Yep. yep. Yeah. So um, we and I feel okay about that. So this is the end of Tramp Time, and thanks for joining. Bye. Well, it's pretty late. It's midnight almost. Ryan stayed up with me as long as he could, because he knew I was going to be awake on decks, and he's been very um, patient with me tonight, because the decks has made me kind of like aggro. Um, roid rage, not rage, but I just feel super like everything bugs me. Toilet seat up bugs me. <laughs> like just little things bug me. And you know, he made dinner and did the dishes and yeah, he's just... Yeah, he's done good things, and like every little thing that it wasn't to my liking, clothes on the floor, whatever, light not turned out, wow, I am sorry. I'm apologizing publicly. Publicly. You hear that? To me? Yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is the Dex. I'm going to blame it on the Dex. I mean, I do feel just... I blame it on the Dex. Okay, good. He blames it on the Dex, too. Yeah. Dex and out. Dex and out. So I took Phenergan, which is like a uh, anti nausea. So it's in it, and it's kind of sleepy. I did end up taking two gabapentinite, so 600. I upped it. So I could be go to sleep finally, too. And maybe we'll be super sedated tomorrow. Oh, yeah, but I'm taking the other 20 milligrams of Dex tomorrow on the steroid. So, yeah, I took Tylenol because I always get a raging headache. Um, but my, my nurse practitioner came by and she said that they will put Zometa, the bone strengthener, on my allergy list. Like, is it having reactions? Because I had such bad reactions. And I never have to take it again. Yay, win. Silver lining. Um... Maggie's sleeping over outside in a tree house, like that's all pimped out with like sleeping bags and um, blow up mattresses. And I think they put a tarp over in case it rained. So Maggie is a happy camper. Hence, we could watch Westworld and you know, all the things that are not kid friendly. So we were gonna watch Guardians of the Galaxy tonight. That did not happen. And we'll watch it another time. So. Um, it's definitely time for bed. I think my eyes look like I'm stoned. So it's night night time. Day 43, over and out.